Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. All it took was one SBC and one part of the FIFA Ultimate Team market is headed to the moon, guys. And we're going to talk about that because the SBC isn't even one that's worth doing, in my opinion. So, a lot to talk about with the market and specifically fodder today. We got to look back at yesterday's content and look forward into today's content because... Could fodder be going up further today with more SBCs coming, including that big time never seen before in this year's game, Icon Attacker Specific SBC. We'll look at all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about yesterday's content first, starting with the Harry Cool Footies Hero SBC. Got the five star skill move upgrade, really good stats. The problem here is. He's Super League, and I know it's a hero. I know he gets great links uh, apart from that, and he's all on 3 cam himself, but he doesn't provide that much to most people's teams. There's not many people building a Super League squad in FIFA at the moment, and the price in this SBC as well for the card that you get, it's not terrible. It's not, but I really think people really wanted this card to be Premier League for the links that he could provide to the rest of the squad. And uh, I'll also say this, man. I mean, this card looks really good. Five-star, four-star with some really, really great stats. But how many other cards do we have right now that are available in this game that uh, are also kind of like this? Like, Shakiri's not too far off from this sort of level. We've got some other really great player SBCs and cards that we're about to be able to claim from objectives like the Muriel and the Buchanan that are really great as well. I know uh, that Royce is in packs, but, you know, there's a lot of more and more footies cards that are coming out that look very similar to this. I don't know. Like, I have the Hyunmin Sun. Am I going to do this Harry Cool? No, I'm not. You know, so that's kind of the thing that I feel like a lot of people are maybe a bit disappointed with with this Cool card. But all in all, it's going to be a pretty good carding game. If you want to craft them, it's only two squads. It's not that expensive. But uh, I think the links are just a little bit lacking from what people wanted them to be. Now, the other SBC that I literally think is not a good SBC to do, guys. I mean, we saw this pack added to the code a couple of days ago. I thought it might be in the store. EA said, nah, we're going to drop it in an SBC. 87 plus times 10. Footies. Best of Batch 1 upgrade. Basically what this pack is, it's, it's, it's giving you 10 players that are 87 and above, which 90% of the cards in packs, besides like Bergwijn wants to watch and a handful of others, are already 87 above anyway. But it's giving you packs, or cards in this pack that have been in the game since what? October, November, December. We got Winter Wild Cards and Centurions and all these promo cards like wants to watches that are inside of this pack that we're like, man, what is this pack good for? Really, this Batch 1 player pack, the 8710, you're really just hoping for a Hullet, you're hoping for a Runnel Dino team of your icon and maybe a Vander Sar. This SBC is literally for three players, but it gives you 10 and you have to turn in three squads to do it. Only a 21% upvote on this SBC, which I think should be lower. I feel like this should be like a 5% upvote on SBC, man, because yes, this is a gamble pack and I know that's why there's fun and there's a risk and oh, I could pack Dino. Realistically, if you're going after Dino or Hullet or Vander Sar or any of the team of your icons, this is your best chance to do it, right? If you want to go for one of those, try this SBC out, but I really feel like this is not a worth it kind of expenditure of your fodder of your coins. This is not really worth to putting that stuff into right now. Go ahead and work on an icon SBC like Roberto Carlos. Go ahead and chip away at Rodrigo, either Duke Kewell or one of these other great footies SBC players that we have out because you're going to get something way better in return than turning in three full squads of fodder, including a team of the season. Uh, than you would in that pack right there. So, but regardless of how bad we think this SBC might be, especially because of how bad the best of cards in packs right now are, guys, fodder is going up, and it's crazy how much it's going up right now. 86s are 8.3K. They're actually down a little bit from where they were. 8.5 right now for Lautaro Martinez. All 86s were like nine to 10,000 coins. He was 11K yesterday. Were, were these guys even more? I saw 9,000 coins. Um, how high did they go? Wow, 10,000 coins is what all 86s were at. I'm really glad we shouted in yesterday's video picking up some 84s to 86s because that is the part of the market that went up basically the most yesterday. 85s are about 7,000 coins after they were under 6K. 7,500 is what Depay was yesterday. 84s are up really nicely. They were above, they were up 43 to 4,400 a card, I think. So they're up about 1,000 coins. Guys, if you bought this fodder, 4.8K for all yards of if you bought this fodder, do not sell it yet, all right? I would not sell it just yet because I think we have higher prices on the horizon with what content is coming today, but I'm very glad that we talked about investing in that because that stuff 
is going up very nicely. And I'll say this as well. For the people that are doing this pack, I'm not saying you don't want to do it. If you got coins, if you got the fodder, you can do it every single day if you're chasing a Dino or a Hullet or whatever, or if you just want to do it for the fun of it. Um, you know, this pack, it actually might come in very handy. If you're going to do it now, if you have a lot of fodder now, or if you're not playing the game much now, but you still have a lot of coins, this might be a pack that you do and then stack for later on during footies when some of those special cards like maybe winter wild cards maybe centurions maybe some of that stuff is required in future sbcs during footies like we saw last year they were doing sbcs for footies cards that required some of those old uh special cards that were put into batch one of footies but their prices went up like crazy maybe that's kind of a five head play is stack one or two of those maybe three of those in your pack stash and just wait for later on during footies when there's better SBC players out that you want to do and EA starts requiring some of those like they could. So it's not 100% a guarantee that they will, but they could do that. But guys, fodder is rising like crazy and we're going to hold on to it, not selling it just yet. We'll talk about why a little bit later. Now also yesterday, EA dropped another 400k pack, the 250 super ultimate pack and the 500k paramount pack now i'm gonna open this we're gonna do it right now we're gonna full send it because i feel like this is one of my best chances to pack messy right and the pack weight seems halfway decent so we're just gonna go for it in this video bringing some pack content to the video today i'm hoping for a footies i'm hoping for did i really just get okay okay i got sadio mane i was gonna say if that's steven bergwine <laughs> i'm gonna lose it. i've seen that guy way too many times in my packs already during batch one of footies being out but hopefully we have a premium footies messy in behind here, man. That is the reason I am chasing some of these packs. I'm going to be so annoyed with all the fodder that we're going to have from this. 150 players. I'm going to have to rinse so much. 26 duplicate items. But let's head to the back and see what we get because we're here for the footies premiums. This might be the page, guys. Here it is. Trent Butland. Oof, okay, that was... Ah, no, nothing in behind for a footies player, man. I don't think I have any in the club as well. So, wow, that is... That is not good. Uh, just to make sure we have nothing else coming in back here, let me double check. Uh, at the very back, Newhouse and Stuani. Wow, I just got shafted, man. And that pick, and that pack right there. Anyways, don't do the 500k pack, but still, there's like a 25% chance of a premium footy. So that was your, my, that was my best chance at packing, uh, at least you know some of the premium cards. All right, that was an L. All right, we're gonna move past that. Let's talk about Sunday content today. Cooked, bro. Freaking cooked. I can't get over that. Hey, today on Sunday we got a big pack coming as an SBC. I do believe the 90 plus icon player pick is going away. Now we knew this was happening. We talked about it yesterday, but it's going away and it's going to get replaced today. The question is, what is it going to get replaced by? We think since this pack was added to the code, we're looking at another big icon pack coming for the first time today. The 92 plus foot birthday team of the year trophy Titans shapeshifter icon only attacker SBC pack 92 plus guys. I've done the math 28 possible players. I believe if I've done my math correctly, only 28 possible players that you could pack from this SBC. I mean, and it's all attackers as well. Yes. You could get some players like maybe a foot birthday icon, like a Clivert, who's not going to be that good since he's a striker, but you could get some pretty insane shapeshifter icons like Thierry Henry. Uh, some of the other uh, icons that have been involved in the shapeshifters promo team, Garincha, Eto would be involved in there since they are both left wing, right wing. The Figo striker card would be a part of it. Um, and then, of course, Pele would be a part of it as well. Van Persie would be in there. And then you've got some great trophy Titans like uh, the R9 would be available in this pack. So there's a lot of upside, some massive, massive upside from this pack. And it's going to be an SBC that I think a lot of people would want to end up doing on this game. Now, I think also EA is going to know that, right? Very small player pool. It's just like the 93 plus shapeshifter player pick that dropped last week. Very small player pool. And when that happens, EA makes the SBC a little bit more pricey because they know, hey, the chase here is for the big time top tier cards. If you need fodder, I mean, guys, we're not we're talking about fodder being up, but there's some parts of the fodder market right now that are not that high. I mean, let's be honest, 88 rated cards. Looks like some of these guys are around 13 to 14,000 coins for 88s. That's not too shabby, in my opinion, because I think these are going to end up going higher. Guys, if we're looking at gold fodder, though, we're looking at the golds. Last week, these guys went to 17K, it looked like, during the week. Even yesterday, they were 17K for Donnarumma. So for these 88s that are about 14,000 coins, 13K, maybe you stock up on a couple of those. Maybe you stock up on a couple of 89s. Casemiro just showed at 18.5. What was he yesterday during the day? 
really went up to like 19, 20,000 coins. I would imagine this SBC is going to be a bit more expensive. I'm guessing around 300k, maybe even a little bit more than that. Again, this is a big time SBC. If they make it too cheaper than that, uh, then fodder is going to go crazy. But also fodder is already kind of inflated. So I don't imagine that SBC being that cheap. But guys, I would look at the 88 to the 89 gold cards, maybe for a club stock. Maybe you look at some like 91s or 92s. Um, it's just going to kind of depend on how high of a rating they go with inside of this SBC. Also, I hate to say it, man, but team of the season cards, they're getting supplied still three times a day, but the demand is outweighing the supply. 40,000 coins right now for every single TOTS card in the game. I would be surprised if EA did not include a TOTS requirement inside of an SBC, like an icon pack like this one. So maybe you go out, do the icon, or maybe you do the TOTS upgrade before you do the icon upgrade. Or somehow get a team of the season card if you are able to or maybe just buy one off the market to make it a little bit easier on yourself but maybe you do a bit of a club stock because whether that sbc comes today or it's just a 93 plus shapeshifter player pick refreshing guys fodder is going to be in the demand again in a very high amount especially on the middle to top tier right these are pretty expensive sbcs this 93 plus shapeshifter was a hit last week it is refreshing today it's got an 88 rated squad inside of it and uh, yeah, I would watch out for fodder on the middle to uh, high tier. Honestly, still, that's going to go even higher today. That's why I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you have it, I would not sell it. If you're looking at it purely from an investment perspective, if you bought some for the club and you're doing SBCs, but then you stock some on the transfer list too, hold on to it right now. Because honestly, these cards are just going to end up going higher today on Sunday if we get the 93 plus and that 92 plus attacker only icon pack as well and then we could get another player sbc i believe it was last week on sunday we had another player sbc as well uh they like to do the player sbcs on the weekends um i don't know if we have any expiring today let me just do a quick check through here uh looks like all these okay saint juice day is going to be going away today so maybe they replace saint juice day uh with somebody else in here today as an SBC player, I would expect to see something along those lines. It might be a pretty busy day today on foot. Uh, that's for sure. Now, I've got a lot of duplicates. I've got to have to go some to do some SBCs. I'm going to have to finish Roberto Carlos. I'm working on him right now at the moment. And then also, I might craft and rinse some of those lower tier gold cards into the 80 plus player pick. It is absolutely such a dub that EA have still released this 80 plus player pick. I got to do the 84 times 10 as well and um yeah i gotta get that done for today now we have one last hope for objectives as well maybe ea would drop a sunday cup i'm almost getting the feeling that they're not gonna drop a cup because they've dropped the um the rodri we've got the ferrari right now we've got the extra weekend league objectives but that kind of leaves us with a little bit less to do during the week in terms of a gameplay grind i liked having the cup there last week for where i could use Lewandowski, even though he sucked felt like i was kind of doing Two things at once. I would love to use Lacazette this week uh, in that cup if we're, it were to drop. But it has not dropped yet. So maybe, just maybe, we get one today. And um, yeah, guys. I mean, the market right now, fodder is going up. Coins are being drained. So just be very careful once again if you still have, especially team of the season cards, guys. Because a lot of these top tier uh, team of the season cards, they're going to get re-released in packs between the next couple of weeks with batch two coming out. Maybe not guys like Nkunku or all the ultimate team of the season cards are going to be in um, batch number two. But I would imagine some team of the season cards will be. And I think that these cards could take a hit in price because of that in the coming week. So if you still have some top tier team of the seasons in your ultimate team squad, just be a little bit careful because I could see some price drops coming in pretty soon on those and the rest of the market in general as we just mentioned guys a lot of uh coins are being drained off this market i just opened a 500,000 coin freaking store pack that absolutely netted me not even halfway that much of value back from the pack um and a lot of people are opening store packs right now sbcs right even when an 87 times 10 like this comes out that just gives you a lot of fodder and maybe even some duplicates you're going to go back out. You're going to do more SBCs. That's what the special cards being released back into packs does. We talked about it a lot. And fodder prices prove that. So it's going to be an interesting Sunday today. Uh, guys, one little word of warning as well. If you stayed to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. A little bit of input for you. There will be a upload tomorrow. This is about EAFC 24. I'm going to be heading away uh, for some just a quick little R&R &R for the next two days. So I'll be back on normal video on Tuesday. But for tomorrow on Monday, we'll have an EAFC 24 video. And it's going to be pretty short, pretty sweet, but it's very market heavy, market focused and kind of getting us thinking a little bit ahead of time. But the market next year in EAFC 24 with some of the leaked changes and confirmed changes 
that we are going to have. So with that, we will sign off for today. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you did, leave a like on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in a video soon. It's been Nate the Photo Camera. Catch you guys later. Peace.